In Vectorworks Spotlight and Designer, there are various methods of placing truss objects. In this video, we will focus on using the Insert Truss tool for placing truss objects. The Insert Truss tool, found in the Rigging tool set, places connected truss objects. The truss objects use manufacturer-specific symbols to create realistic truss systems. To begin placing truss with this tool, first select the tool from the Rigging tool set, then in the toolbar, Click on the Resource Selector drop-down and choose a truss symbol. Vectorworks Spotlight and Designer offer many truss libraries from major manufacturers. Custom truss symbols can also be created and configured to work with the Insert Truss tool. The libraries contain different configurations of truss. Start by choosing the desired configuration. In this example, we are using a horizontal section. To activate the truss, double-click on the thumbnail in the Resource Selector. Now we are ready to place the first piece of truss. Click once in the drawing area, and then move your mouse to the left, right, up, or down to set the direction of the first piece of truss. Click a second time to place the truss. The truss will appear in the drawing area. To continue building a truss system, with the Insert Truss tool still active and the same horizontal section of truss activated, move your cursor over the truss in the drawing area. Then the truss will highlight in red and depending on which side of the truss the cursor is over, a red line will extend out. This indicates where the next section of truss will connect to this piece and the direction it will be placed. Once you have the desired direction highlighted, click a second time to place the next section of truss. This piece is now connected to the first piece of truss, making it quick and easy to lay out a section of truss. This Auto Connect function can be disabled by clicking on the Insert with Auto Connection button found in the toolbar. Typically though, you will leave this enabled. You will notice that the truss objects are currently being displayed in a simplified form. This is because truss symbols from the Vectorworks library have both a simplified and complex visibility option. This is handled by class visibility settings. If you take a look in the navigation palette, you will see a rigging class. This class contains all the major parts of our truss symbols. The Rigging-Truss-Simplified and Rigging-Truss-Truss classes control the visibility of the simplified and complex geometry. Setting the Simplified class to Invisible and the Truss class to Visible will reveal the detailed truss representation. If you reverse this and make the Simplified class visible and the Truss class invisible, you will see only the simplified geometry. When laying out truss systems, it is recommended to leave the Rigging-Truss-Truss class set to Invisible and the Simplified class visible. After completing the system, the Truss class can be set to Visible for final presentation. Since we are working with a smaller system in this video, we will leave the complex geometry visible. In addition to horizontal segments, you can also add corner blocks, vertical sections, and other accessories. As you add more pieces, if you're going to add additional pieces of the same type of truss, you do not need to return to the Insert Truss tool and reselect the truss symbol from the library. Using the Selection tool and the Control Click Drag shortcut on Windows or Option Click and Drag shortcut on Mac, you can, in a single action, duplicate an existing piece of truss and connect it to the system as needed. You can even lay out a truss system in 3D. In this example, we're in a 3D view and we want to add a 90 degree corner to the end of this system. With a 90 degree corner block activated, simply move your cursor over the end of the truss system. As we move the cursor up, down, left, and right, we see that the red highlight indicates the direction the corner will be placed. If we wanted the corner to angle up, just move the cursor down to get the correct orientation and click one time. Alternatively, if you want the corner to come in, Simply position your cursor to the back right of the truss and then click a single time. Then using the control click and drag or option click and drag duplication method, we can add on additional horizontal sections to the corner block. In addition to duplicating the truss using the click drag method, the mirror tool can also be used. If creating a symmetrical system, simply lay out half of the system and mirror to the opposite side using the mirror tool with the Duplicate mode activated in the toolbar. 
While designing a truss system, you can use the Select System Objects button found in the Object Info Palette when a truss object is selected to quickly select all truss objects in the connected system. After creating a truss system, you can set the trim height of the entire system by selecting just a single piece of truss, then clicking on the Change Trim Height of System button found in the Object Info Palette. Here you can either specify an absolute height for the system, this will set the entire system to a chosen Z height. Alternatively, you can move the truss a relative distance. This will simply move the truss up by the specified distance when entering a positive value, or down by the specified distance if entering a negative value. The specified value for both the absolute and relative options refers to the bottom of the truss system. When inserting truss, if you wish to place the truss at a specific hanging angle, this can be entered in the toolbar before placing the truss. If you have already placed the truss and wish to rotate the truss in 3D, first enable the Draw 3D Only option in the Object Info Palette, and then use the standard rotation tools and commands to rotate the truss as needed. As you can see, the placement and creation of complex truss systems is quick and easy when using the Insert Truss tool.